welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to paint this Halloween scene. So I've got two different luminous yellows here. One warm and one cool. These are by the Whole Bean Acrylic Heavy Bodied Neon Series. And I'm also going to be using Viridian Green and Ultramarine Blue. And these are by, oh, there we go, <laughs> Color by Felix Paints. You'll also need some titanium white. I'll probably be adding a few other colors along the way. I'm not sure yet at this point, uh, but I'm going to post everything off below in the description of this video, and I'll let you know during the process of this video what colors I'm using and what I'm adding. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to take a large round brush, and you can use any blending brush that you want. I'm going to take some white and this Viridian Green. And I'm just going to start up at the top. It doesn't really matter where you start. I'm just going to very lightly pull and blend. take my ultramarine blue now without washing my brush off. And I'm just going to start adding it right in here. I'm going to take a clean one and I'm going to take my white with my neon yellow and this is the cool one and I'm just going to start right about here just to gently start pulling and blending it around into that green and slightly into the blue off to the side here. We'll just add a little bit of it down here so we have some light falling down here on the bottom it'll be at the base of the tree I'm just gonna soften this kind of just swirling my brush around kind of just having fun with it you gotta be having fun when you're painting otherwise what's the point right I'm going to pick up more, the rest of that yellow that I've got there, and I'm just going to start pushing and tapping. So you can use this brush as a stipple brush, blending brush. We'll add a little bit down here at the base on this side. I'm just going to take a larger brush here. This is a number 50. Uh, Filbert blending brush, any brush that you want to pull and blend with. I'm going to get it a little bit wet and I'm just going to soften this up along the bottom. So just pulling my brush back and forth. I'll pick up whatever blue and green that I have left on my palette and soften this a little bit. So I'm just tapping over. The paint is still a little bit wet. And I'm just going to soften by tapping the top of it, top of those little bushes. And I'm going to add a little bit of phthalo blue. And I'm just going to pull, pull, and then wiggle my brush to load it like this. And I'm going to start coming in down below here, bringing in some shadows. 
we need these shadows here in order for our pumpkins and whatever else that we're going to add down here to really show up. And then I'm just going to very lightly pull down and across. Just want to add another layer over this light color that we have down here. Top in. I'm going to come around the side with my brush, creating small circles like this. And this will start to build up some clouds in the background. Just some background, like maybe there's some bushes or mountains, just to make it look a little bit more interesting and have more depth. Now I'm going to come up here with a little bit of little bit of my white. I've still got a bit of that phthalo left in my brush. And I'm going to take a little bit more of my neon yellow. So this one again, the cool one. And I'm going to take those colors to make a really beautiful glowing green. And right about here, I'm going to pull and twist and we're going to make a crescent moon. So because my paint is wet underneath, I've got the, the shape of it now and a little bit of an outline. I'll wait for that to dry and I'll start working on some clouds and then I'll come back to it and add this bright color again which will really really stand out. Okay, for some clouds, I'm just going to do some simple kind of half circles. Now you can use a lot of different brushes for this. You can use a fan brush, a mop brush. Okay, so we're just going to build up the depth in this painting. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush now. So I've got this one right here, and this is a number 16. And what I want to do, actually I'm going to take a little bit of water in my brush first. I'm going to get these colors again. And I just want to create soft little peaks like this. Now as they get closer to the moon, we're going to make them smaller and smaller, so that will create, it'll help create that perspective that we want. So little tiny ones. And then as they get closer to us, they're going to get bigger. And you want to overlap. And go back for more water and paint when needed. take one of my blending brushes here. It's a dry mop brush. And because my paint is drying quickly, my studio is a little bit warmer than usual today. I'm going to need a little bit of water. And see how I'm just twirling my brush around. Just twirling it around like this. Softening that paint up a little bit. want to make it kind of spooky and foggy like and really set this Halloween vibe up in the background so let's just take a little bit more of that white with the yellow and just kind of pull it along and blend it around you don't need a lot of paint for this just to give it that foggy look. And I'm going to continue with my clouds here. So see you could use this brush too just by pushing and twisting like that. Isn't that cool? 
So I just like to give you guys options throughout my videos and tutorials in case you don't have the same brush that I'm using. I don't want you to think that you can't do these tutorials along with me if you don't. You can use different brushes. So just experiment and see what works for you. Um, a filbert brush is nice, but I find this is really nice too and this is fun to use. So it's important to always have fun while you're creating. And let's come over to this side now. So I'm just going to start pushing and twirling my brush. And you could just keep layering and layering. And then I'll come over here. Do the same thing on this side. I just love Halloween. And thanks for all of your requests, you guys, because I wasn't sure if this is something that um, you guys would want to do or see on my channel. Um, I don't know how popular Halloween tutorials would be, but I'm sure glad that you guys um, have been requesting this. So uh, all you patrons out there, I hope that you're enjoying these tutorials. I've got one more Halloween one. Leave a link for that in the description below this video. You guys can have a look. I like to do whimsical, fun, bright, colorful paintings and nothing too scary. <laughs> okay, so I'm really happy with how this is looking. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush now to, just to create some smaller peaks in here. So I'll load my brush up again, white and yellow. Just start adding little twists like this. Always layering. Just going to pull my brush side to side again, creating this sort of haze, fog, like feel. And I might do this a few times during the process of this video, like when we pull in a big tree here and we're gonna paint. Well, I've got an idea. I think I wanna have a tree, a big tree here, and have um, maybe like a weeping willow tree. And I'm gonna have little lit pumpkins hanging from the branches. I think that's gonna be really fun. And, um, after I put that big tree trunk in, I want it to feel like there's some fog over that to really create a, a misty, foggy mood. So I'm gonna try my best to do that. Hope it works. And while I've got this little brush, I'm just gonna take those colors again. A little bit of that yellow and green. Maybe we'll yeah, let's create a little path that goes back there. And then just kind of disappears. Can soften these up a little bit. I'm going to take my little bit of my blue, green, and yellow. Maybe, I'm not sure if I want it to be a path or maybe some stairs. You guys know how I like to add stairs to my paintings. I don't know, maybe it's just that I have a lot of fun painting them, but I kind of like the mood that they, they bring, the atmosphere that they bring into a painting as well. And then for some contrast, I can come in with a little bit of blue. So I'm just going to switch over to my other hand here. And just pull right underneath.
Let's add a little ghost off to the side here, maybe one or two. We'll do one and see how it looks. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of white with my filbert brush. Do a round top like this. So you want it, the idea is to make it look like it's see-through, right? very simple outlines and you don't want to have a lot of water or a lot of paint on your brush uh, this way it'll help them look like they're see-through like they have eyes then I'm just going to take a little bit of the paint off you can use just a very small brush I think we're going to need one that's even smaller than that so I'll go over to my little liner brush and just just scumble off a little bit of that paint And if you make it a little bit too dark, then you can just go over with some more of the white. And I'm going to add a little bit of neon yellow to my white and this liner brush. And I'm going to do um, a brighter outline. So I'll just take the two colors together and just just add a little bit of light here. Like you do want them to be kind of see-through, but I want to have an area or two where it's a little bit brighter looking. I think it's time to add the yellow and white. This is all dry now. So let's take those colors again. Yellow and white. And I'm going to go right inside. Push, twist, and turn. And I'll come down from here. Use this little filbert brush to get some more little soft peaks. Okay, so depending on how that dries, might have to um, add another highlight on top of that moon later on. And I'm just gonna add like an old kind of a fence in here. So I'm gonna just Take my white and yellow and just do crooked looking posts here so it looks like it's been here a long time. And it gives it more of that spooky atmosphere, I think.
just a little something like that, just to add a little bit more atmosphere, I think. I like it. And what I'm going to do down here is just take a little bit of white oops, and start adding the beginnings of our pumpkins. And then once that dries, then I can add the color I want over top. So I want them to kind of look like they're layered. So I'm just going to do half circle right there and then maybe we'll have one down here Now we've got this brush here, I'm going to take a little bit of my blue, just wiggle it and just get it on the end of my brush like this, and I'm going to add a shadow on either side of these little posts. I get lighter and lighter as they go down the lane there, and then we'll follow underneath and the little boards that join them. I'm going to take a little bit more of my green, or my yellow I mean. Yellow with a little bit of that blue on my brush. And what I want to do Take a bit of the white too. And I'm going to make some little vines down here. So you want to take your brush and just glide it along and then twist. You can push and pull, wiggle. Pull out for some little leaves. And just add as many as you want. You can also use a little line brush for this too. It might be easier. I'm just going to have it kind of dangle down there. I'm going to add another layer on top of the moon. Make it really bright. I'm just going to go over the center of it. I'm not pushing hard at all. It still might be a little bit wet yet, so I know I'll probably do the final layer after it's all dry. Do little scoops like this, side to side. And maybe we'll have some more pumpkins down here. Just 
add some more white and that way when it's time to add the orange it's really going to stand out because we have this dark uh, black canvas right so you can't just put orange on top of that and expect it to be um, as bright as what it is in the, the tube you have to have a lighter base like white like this and then it'll be a little bit more white down in here. We want to concentrate on where the moonlight is going to be um, falling on the pumpkins. So this side might be more in shadow, so we don't necessarily have to have uh, the same color, the same brightness and highlights throughout the pumpkins. So maybe just kind of think about where you want your highlights to fall and then you want to add more white where you do. So maybe just the top of this one. And I'm just quickly going to dry this painting off and then I can add some more layers over top. Okay, so with a clean and dryish filbert brush. I'm going to take my luminous yellow and I'm just going to go around. See how pretty that color is? And I'm going to bring it right over top of the whole pumpkin. Now that it's all dry, we can see our shadows here on this side and where it's nice and bright on those parts that we added more white to. You can just add little circles in here, making it look like there's pumpkins that go kind of just growing wild here. You don't have to do a whole lot, just a few little blobby circles like that. <laughs> and I'm just going to continue down here adding more and more of this luminous yellow. start working on our tree. Okay, so for the tree I'm going to use uh, another filbert brush. I'm, I'm going to take my blue with my luminous yellow and I'm going to start right in here. And I want to have my tree roots going right through the fog and the little bushes here. I'm going out onto the stairs. Just do a few little branches. Kind of wiggle with your brush in your hand. Just add those branches wherever you want or follow along with me. I'm going to take a little bit of my white here 
and I'm going to create some light inside at the base of this tree just for fun. I'll make it look like something lives in there. We've got a few brushes that we're going to use. A liner. This is a long liner. And I've got this even tail wisp fan brush. So you can see it looks like a little rake. And I'm going to use this for creating some texture to the tree and a pattern. I've got a luminous orange that I'm going to be adding now to my palette. See how we just line it up here and kind of move around. Just to make a little bit of texture. Now I'm going to use my brush like this, turning it sideways. Tap and drag. This will give us that hangy look. That we're going to add our little pumpkin lanterns to. Well, I'm having so much fun with this painting. I hope you guys are enjoying this one. You really have to try this, trust me. So much fun! Painting for me kind of just makes me feel like a kid again. It keeps your mind creative and it's really, really healthy and that alone is such a good reason why you should start painting. If you're just watching this and you have never painted before, really consider starting. Okay, so we've got these hangy things happening. Weeping willow tree. I don't know. It's just kind of pretty and spooky at the same time. In some areas, of course, you want to have a little bit thicker so we look like we've got more, more going on in this tree. easy to take some off just like that and kind of just manipulate that paint around with a bit of water on your brush if you want. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my liner brush now and I'm going to do some branches adding water to my brush. Add just a little bit more. There's a pumpkin right there. Right in this area here, I'm just going to take a little bit of neon yellow. You can use any brush that you want. This is the cooler neon yellow. I'm just going to dab A little bit right in here. And then just kind of add it around the base of the tree. I did a few lines right there that you guys might notice. Um, just another indication of some stairs, just because it's fun. And I'm going to add, continue with this theme of this neon yellow that I think adds a lot to this painting. And just dry brush over. I'm just taking it directly from the tube like this. It's going to dry darker than this. Now if you want yours to really show up, then you're going to want to take a little bit of white. So tint your white with that yellow. 
in areas that maybe, maybe the moonlight is hitting. And then just kind of even turn your brush on the side like that. I don't want to add too much light because I want to have the pumpkins be what's lighting this tree or for the light on this tree. So I know this is going to dry a little bit darker. You guys will notice that along or throughout the video. Just bring a little bit of that neon yellow in here. We're also going to add some faces to these pumpkins pretty soon. So I've got my smallest mop brush here. And I'm just going to take a little bit of a neon yellow with a bit of white and then come over to this side. I'm just going to start tapping in. A little bit of green or some foliage in and around these pumpkins. Just breaking this up a little bit more. Okay, let's bring some here to just feel like there's something kind of missing up here so it doesn't hurt to add this neon yellow and what I'd like to do before I start my pumpkins is I'm just taking a little round brush you can use a liner brush too okay I'm just gonna take this bright neon yellow and just kind of outline so going partially on top, the outer edges of the moon. <clears throat> I'm going to take my light. I'm going to go back inside. Really making this nice and bright now. Add a little bit more yellow to my stairs. Down here at the base. this little pointy end to my brush I'm able to create some little lines like this. any brown brush, liner brush, or filbert brush for this. So I'm going to take white with my luminous yellow, the warm one of course, to make it look like the peachy colored pumpkins. And I'm going to start just wherever you want to have them. Just a little round pumpkin shapes. I don't think that they have to be perfect because pumpkins aren't perfect, perfectly round, are they? I'll put one right in here. one right in here. I'm 
So you want to have a few that are different sizes. You don't want them to all be the same size. So looking at mine right now, I think I need to have one that's just a little bit bigger. So I think I'm going to choose this one. Now that one can be a little bit bigger. And add another a highlight here and then go over with more of that luminous yellow. These little guys over here kind of go off in the distance. Those little half circles, right? And then it just kind of creates that, that really nice Halloween vibe, I think. Kind of a trail of pumpkins lighting the way to whatever this leads off to. Maybe there's a haunted house or something back there. Could add little hints of this orange around. Maybe kind of glowing around some of these. A little bit of a glow. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this off and then we'll add our next layer. Okay, so it's pretty much all dried off. I'm just going to take a bit of my neon yellow and white and I want to do a bit of a, a, bit of a outline right here on this tree. So I'm just kind of on the outside here. just a little bit of that fog and mist that I was talking about earlier that I wanted to add. I'm just going to put it right in front of this tree here. And I'm going to add my other neon orange with my luminous yellow. And I'm just going to start creating little lines as I do this. You know, those shapes that get on the pumpkins, the patterns. Okay. So just little lines. I go kind of like our crescent moon. So on the outer side, you're going to go this way. And then, of course, on the other side, you're going to go this way until you get kind of right in the middle here. And it's just a little bit of a curve and go straight down. We're going to be adding uh, little faces to most of these pumpkins. So don't worry too much about how your lines look. We just need to know that they're there. And if you want a little bit more detail, you can add a bit of the blue to your orange. And that'll give you more of a um, more definition. Just a little bit of blue with the orange. So see, I'm not going over the entire pumpkin with this. I'm just adding to it. Adding those colors. That one's still a little bit wet. I just got more of my luminous yellow out. So you want to have a mixture of 
both. And I'm not mixing it up on the palette, I'm just kind of taking a scoop of each color. ultramarine blue. I'm going to take it along with my orange. A little bit of water on my brush. And just great little lines. Then I'm going to take those colors again, go right down here, and start the little stems. And a little bit more blue to this one, it's not really showing up. And then I'll come over here. You want them, the stems to come down wider and then pull a few little lines. So a little line like this. Otherwise they're gonna kind of look like peaches. So that one I'm gonna have to fix but way too big. It can be tricky using a long liner brush like this for small details. I like to make the tops look a little bit curly. I just need to push some of that paint off. It's way too big. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is add the faces to these pumpkins. So I'm going to take my neon yellow and a little bit of white. Just make it nice and bright inside. Do a little. Eyes, nose, and a mouth on each one. And then we'll come in after with black to outline them. And you can make your faces as spooky as you want or as happy looking as you want. It's totally up to you.
do a little bit of detail on some of these leaves and these vines. So I'm going to use a little bit of my Liquitex Basics Acrylics Light Blue Violet. While these, I'm going to let these dry a little bit more. And I think this color is really, really, really complementary to the green that we've got going on here, as well as the orange. And I'm just going to start creating some, some more fog and mist. So I've just got a filbert brush here, and I'm just dry... Just dry brushing. Now if you want it to be a little bit brighter, you can add some white to it. You do want it to be a dry brush though, so you don't want to have a whole lot of paint on your brush. And then I can add some down here. When you dry brush it like that, that's how you get that really smoky, misty look. I'm just going to hold my brush this way and I'm going to bring some up in here, overlapping. And maybe a little bit on the ghost. It also gives you a nice cold kind of a feeling too. Looks great. Right in here with these pumpkins, see? Really kind of just sets everything in there. I picked up accidentally a little bit of my orange that was kind of wet there, but that's okay. in here around the branches too. My blue is a little bit wet up there, but that looks really nice. Actually, those colors together. It was a little happy little accident. I like that color. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush off. Get that phthalo blue out of there. And soften this It looks more misty. I'm just thinking, what if we had another little ghost here? These little ghosts, I think they're cute. So I'm just gonna add a few more. They're not scary looking ghosts, right? They're they're just little happy ghosts. this. 
dry brushing. Little dry brush. You can use that light blue with white or yellow and white. I'm turning my hand like this. I'm gonna bring some of that fog right over top. Add a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm going to add the outline for the jack o' lantern faces. So my phthalo blue is dark enough, so that's all I'm going to use. Just a little liner brush. I'm just going to make these ones a little bit lighter. 
So I'm using more orange. Now I'm adding the orange to my blue. So I'm just making this more of a brown color. So it looks like some of these are a little bit farther away. So I'm not going to be extremely neat and tidy about these ones. They don't matter as much. You're not going to see every single detail as well as these ones here in the foreground. And another option, if you don't feel comfortable using a liner brush, you can also just use a marker. There's acrylic markers, there's just a, even an art marker is fine. Okay, so I'm just going to switch over to my little mop brush here. And if I take phthalo with my luminous yellow, I get sort of like a army green color, like a deep, deep green. And I'm just going to add a little bit. Kind of in and around the pumpkins to make it look like some of them have that hanging over them. And I'm going to brush, scum a little bit, not that much, just a little bit down here to add another shade of green in. And you're going to add a little bit up here. And along the side. Then I'm going to take another brush to soften that. Just a large flat one. Any brush that you want just to soften that in there. So it just kind of gives us a little bit more of a vignette. I'm just about done. I think I just want to add a little, a little jack-o'-lantern face right here on this guy. Move something there. And then I'm just going to finish this painting off by adding some more shadows just to the vines here around the stairs. take my yellow and blue, a little bit of white, get kind of a green color going there. I think I want to have a few little bases. And some of these ghosts. So as I add the finishing touches to this painting, just adding little loops in here just to finish this sky off. A little bit more peaks to these clouds. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you uh, had fun watching this video and that you want to paint along. Wishing you guys a happy Halloween and happy painting. I'll see you next time really soon in another video. Bye!